I have been impressed with the urgency of doing. Knowing is not enough, we must apply. Being willing is not enough, we must do. It had long since come to my attention that people of accomplishment rarely sat back and let things happen to them. They went out and happened to things. A beautiful body perishes, but a work of art dies not. Painting is poetry that is seen rather than felt, and poetry is painting that is felt rather than seen. The noblest pleasure is the joy of understanding. Simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. The painter has the universe in his mind and hands. When a spirit does not work with the hand, there is no art. Life is pretty simple, you do some stuff. Most fails. Some works. You do more of what works. If it works big, others quickly copy it. Then you do something else. The trick is the doing something else. There are three classes of people, those who see. Those who see when they are shown. Those who do not see. Study the science of art. Study the art of science. Develop your senses especially learn how to see. Realize that everything connects to everything else. A painter should begin every canvas with a wash of black, because all things in nature are dark except where exposed by the light. It is better to imitate ancient than modern work. Learning is the only thing the mind never exhausts, never fears, and never regrets. The knowledge of all things is possible. It is easier to resist at the beginning than at the end. Nothing can be loved or hated unless it is first understood. Art is never finished, only abandoned. Men of lofty genius when they are doing the least work are most active. I love those who can smile in trouble, who can gather strength from distress, and grow brave by reflection. Tis the business of little minds to shrink, but they whose heart is firm, and whose conscience approves their conduct, will pursue their principles unto death. One can have no smaller or greater mastery than mastery of oneself. As a well-spent day brings happy sleep, so life well used brings happy death. Iron rusts from disuse, water loses its purity from stagnation. Even so does inaction sap the vigor of the mind. Nature is the source of all true knowledge. She has her own logic, her own laws, she has no effect without cause nor invention without necessity. Nature never breaks her own laws. Once you have tasted flight, you will forever walk the earth with your eyes turned skyward, for there you have been, and there you will always long to return. The greatest deception men suffer is from their own opinions. If you are alone you belong entirely to yourself. If you are accompanied by even one companion you belong only half to yourself or even less in proportion to the thoughtlessness of his conduct and if you have more than one companion you will fall more deeply into the same plight. Our life is made by the death of others. Time abides long enough for those who make use of it. Why does the eye see a thing more clearly in dreams than the imagination when awake? While I thought that I was learning how to live, I have been learning how to die. Knowledge of the past and of the places of the earth is the ornament and food of the mind of man. One has no right to love or hate anything if one has not acquired a thorough knowledge of its nature. Great love springs from great knowledge of the beloved object, and if you know it but little you will be able to love it only a little or not at all. Intellectual passion drives out sensuality. The deeper the feeling, the greater the pain. Tears come from the heart and not from the brain. Study without desire spoils the memory, and it retains nothing that it takes in. Poor is the pupil who does not surpass his master. He who loves practice without theory is like the sailor who boards ship without a rudder and compass and never knows where he may cast. I have from an early age abjured the use of meat, and the time will come when men such as I will look upon the murder of animals as they now look upon the murder of men. He who does not oppose evil, commands it to be done. Every now and then go away, 
have a little relaxation, for when you come back to your work your judgment will be surer. Go some distance away because then the work appears smaller and more of it can be taken in at a glance and a lack of harmony and proportion is more readily seen. You'll look back and wish you had heard these quotes sooner. Don't let the chance pass you by. View our upcoming video, follow my YouTube channel to stay updated. Since you can learn something new from each quote you see.